everyone, me and Charlie are back for day two of story time. And story time was so popular in my house yesterday, Peter wanted to come and join us too. And I think we might be having a new guest every day. So today's story, as promised, is by Quentin Blake and it is called Mrs. Armitage's Wheels. And if you were in my year one class, you would have certainly heard this one before because I love this story is definitely one that my dad used to read me when I was a little girl. So, here we go. Hope you'll sit back and enjoy. Mrs Armitage. Mrs Armitage was out on her bicycle and Brakespear, the dog, ran alongside her. A hedgehog walked across the road. Tring, tring, went Mrs Armitage on her bell. What this bike needs, said Mrs Armitage to herself, is a really loud horn. Mrs Armitage bought three horns. They were all very loud. Beep, beep, honk, honk, brrrr, went Mrs Armitage on her horns. Then the chain came off. By the time Mrs Armitage had got on it again, her hands were all black and greasy. What this bike needs, said Mrs Armitage to herself, is somewhere to wash your hands. She got a bucket of water and a towel and a soap rack with a bar of soap and she hung them all on the bike and off she went with her sparkling clean hands. What this bike needs, said Mrs Armitage to herself as she cycled along, if it's to be looked after properly, is a complete toolkit. So she got a toolbox with spanners and screwdrivers and hammers and cans of penetrating oil and she fixed onto the back of the bicycle and off she went. By now, Mrs Armitage was beginning to think about food. What this bike needs, said Mrs Armitage to herself, is somewhere to carry a light snack. So, she got a tray for her apples and bananas and cheese and tomato sandwiches and a holder for a bottle of lemonade, a flask of cocoa and a special basket for bones and dog biscuits for brakes beer. And she fixed them all to the bike and off she went. But by now, poor Breakspear was feeling quite sad and tired running beside her. You could tell this because his tongue was hanging out and he was panting. What this bike needs, said Mrs Armitage to herself, is something for a faithful dog to ride on. So she got some iron brackets and some nuts and some bolts and some cushions and she made a seat for Breakspear and off they went. And they'd stopped beside the road for some sandwiches and a dog biscuit when the rain began. Great heavens, said Mrs Armitage, what this bike needs, Breakspear, is something to keep the rain off. She got two umbrellas one large one and one small one and she fixed them up on the bicycle and off she went. Riding through the rain Mrs Armitage began to feel rather downhearted. What this bike needs, said Mrs Armitage to herself, is a bit of cheerful music. So she got a transistor radio, cassette player and a lot of cassettes and cheerful music and a mouth organ so that she could join in and she fixed them all off to the bike she fixed them all onto the bike sorry and went on mrs armitage was turning the pedals so fast and blowing the mouth organ so hard that she was nearly exhausted what this bike needs said mrs armitage to herself is a bit of oomph and so she got some wood and some ropes and some tarpaulin and she rigged up a mast and a sail and she added a few yards of bunting. It's almost unrecognisable. And off they went with the wind behind them, faster and faster until... Crash! Clunk! Clatter! Thud! 
Oh. What this bike needs, Breakspear, said Mrs. Armitage, as she picked herself up from the wreckage, is taking to the dump. And what I need is... Whoopee! Well, I wonder what Mrs. Armitage is going to do to her skates. <gasps> but... What these roller skates need, said Mrs. Armitage to herself. What these skates need is. I wonder what trouble she'll get into with those roller skates. So, again, Charlie and I are going to say goodbye and Peter. Join us tomorrow to see who will join us tomorrow. And I'm going to tell you the answer to the question about which author Quentin Blake is an illustrator for tomorrow. So remember, there are questions on the website about Mrs. Armitage and her wheels for our reading comprehension today. So go and have a look at those. Bye, everybody.